Hi guys, in this video we create a map of India where we connect Mumbai, New Delhi and Kolkata with the lines with different colors. Let's start by loading the packages. These are the coordinates, latitude and longitude for Mumbai, New Delhi and Kolkata that you find in the description below. We use this data to build a data frame. So here we have our India data frame and we have latitude and longitude for Mumbai, New Delhi and Kolkata. Let's plot this info. So we locate the three cities on the Indian map by using add circle markers and the latitude and longitude. So this is our map of India with the three cities. Now what we want to do we want to connect the three cities with a line. So this means that we need a path to connect these three cities. So let's build a new uh, data frame with the path. What we do is that we add the info for Mumbai to the data frame India. And we store this in the India underscore path. Why we do like this? Because as you can see from the India data frame here, we go from Mumbai to New Delhi and from New Delhi to Kolkata. But we want to cross the triangle. So we need to add the data for Mumbai. Let's do this. And as you can see now, we have Mumbai, New Delhi, Kolkata and Mumbai again. So we have defined our path. To plot now the line, we just add add polylines with the longitude and latitude from the end and the score path. And here we have connected the three cities. Now we can change the color. So the same code as before, but we add color equal red. Now, what we want to do is that we want to change the color for each line. So we want a different color for each of these lines. Let's do this manually. So to do this manually, we need just to add add polylines for each of the connection. So here, add the polylines, the same code, but here we are subsetting one, two in LNG. So this means from Mumbai to New Delhi. Then two, three. So we are going from New Delhi to Kolkata and three, four from Kolkata to, uh, to Mumbai. And here, we set different color, blue, green and red. If we, we do like this, we have our map with, the, uh, with different colors for each line. This works, but clearly it's not efficient because if we have 100 of cities to connect with different lines, clearly it, it, it's not efficient. So what we can do, is to replace uh, this code with a for loop. Basically, when a part of a code is repeated, this means that it's a good uh, opportunity to write a for loop for that part. Let me show you here the code. As you can see, this part of the code does not change. The part of the, the change is this one, and it's always the same. We are just moving the index. So, as I said, this is a, a good case where we can use a for loop. So what do we do? We store this part of the code in an object that we call India underscore map. Let's do this. Now we have to generate an object that stores the color for each line. And now we can use the for loop. 
look here we basically in the for loop we are updating the ind underscore map so the only part of the code that we need is add polylines where we need to add the map that we are we are updating the rest of the code is the same but we are just controlling the index with the loop so for example for i in 1 to 3 when i is 1 this means that here we are going from 1 to 1 plus i plus 1 so 1 to 2 meaning that we are here in the code then i becomes 2 so this means that we are going from 1 to 1 plus 2 sorry from 2 to 1 plus 2 3 meaning that we are here in the code finally when i is 3 this is, means that we are going from 3 to 1 plus 3 4 meaning that we are here in the code at the same time we are controlling for the color as you can see here when i is 1 the color is blue when is i is 2 the color is green when i is 3 the color is red this is what we are doing So let's let's run the loop and now let's run the object and as you can see we have the map with the three uh, with the three lines with different colors now if we want to modify this map we can just add new layers to this object for example let's change the style so we add this line of code let's run and as you can see we have the same map with a different style so uh, that, that's it for today i hope the video is useful and if you enjoy it see you in the next one